order to create a room and area report, you need to go to the application menu, export, reports, room, area report. Now, if you're on a floor plan, it's going to be a room report. If you're on an area plan, then it's going to be an area report. In this instance, I only have one room on my level. So, I'm only going to get a report on one room. I've already got an example exported out, which I'll show you in a minute. And let's go ahead and look at some of the features on exporting. Right off the bat, you can choose two different types of files. You can choose an area triangulation report, and you can choose a numerical integration report. We're going to stick with a triangulation report. We also have a range, so we can say current view, or we can select views and specify multiple levels. In this instance, we're just going to choose level one. Actually, we'll just go back to current view since we're only doing one. Underneath options, you can change the different font sizes and colors as well as the line type colors and this will make more sense once you actually see the report so um, besides that you can change the image size which you may need to depending on the size of your rooms and you have some other features as well so let's hit OK and save this will take a second okay looks like it's done let's go ahead and open it so here is my triangulation room area report for level one which only has one room and you can see that it actually breaks it down into right triangles to calculate the area and it labels the different areas as well as the square footage and then gives you a total down at the bottom and there's some extra explanations down here now let's go take a look at another model. Here's another model which you might be familiar with. You can see that it has multiple rooms in it as well as some columns that are inside the rooms and I've already created a report so I'm going to open it and show you the output and the first room that it ends up showing is this one right here and we'll take a look at that. So here's the room that we just talked about. Um, this is a little busy. Obviously we would want to adjust the size of the image that gets exported for that. You can see the different triangles, the square footage, and here is an exclusion which is one of the columns and if I scroll down you'll see that there's all the different columns that were in that room and the area of exclusion and just to scroll down hopefully this isn't too fast you can see some of the other rooms that are on that floor plan and it it calculates the area and gives you the right triangles based off that area so hopefully you find this useful